I know you do too. So don't you deny it. And if any of you live somewhere that is not close to the East Coast or the West Coast or the Gulf Coast, I really do recommend at some point getting yourself to one of the coasts and enjoying the ocean because it's very pleasant. And failing that, one of the Great Lakes will do. Although, I've been there and it's very cool, you know, when you're on the shores of Lake Michigan, for instance, you can sort of forget that it is a lake and not an ocean because you can't see the other side. But even that is not, um, not the same, you know? Well, one thing I do remember from my early childhood was there was like, like, I know memories can be corrupted, and this almost seems kind of ridiculous, but there seemed to be a 10 foot wide ring of dead fish around this lake. Yeah, so that's just what I remember about it. Might it have not been there? Uh, who knows, but it just seemed like there's a, you know, to walk to the lake you had to cross this uh, ring of dead fish, which is kind of kind of funny. But, um, yeah, I had a lot of fun in those days. I haven't gone to the, um, uh, haven't gone down the shore, as they say in Pennsylvania, New Jersey, yet this summer, but I probably will at some point, just because it's a lot of fun. And I recommend you do, too. It's a pretty cool boardwalk on a lot of the Jersey Shore towns. Um, I have done a Sun Plant video. Actually, what is currently the most set popular Sun Plant video is my video of the Wildwood Boardwalk that I did, I think, two years ago, maybe just one year ago, something like that. So, it's definitely something to check out. It's very fun. Um, you know, the reputation of, of New Jersey, which was never like that great to begin with, was, uh, you know, tarnished a bit by the whole Jersey Shore thing, but, you know, even though you get a lot of, you know, weedos down there or whatever, it's still pretty cool. It's pretty, uh, pretty neat places. It's kind of funny because um, after Jersey Shore, the state of New Jersey launched this whole um, campaign, you know, this tourism campaign, saying, this is the real New Jersey. Where, where else can you find 150 miles of beaches? And where can you find all this boardwalk and blah, 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 only in New Jersey and all that stuff. And it was kind of silly that they played those ads in the Philly area because it's like, we already know. We're coming this summer anyway. There's no no real need to um, to remind us. I mean, they really played those ads in like I don't know, like Ohio or upstate New York or Canada or something. People places where people do come from to go to the Jersey Shore, but maybe not as um, you know. It's not as much a regular fixture in their lives. I mean. It's pretty easy living in, you know, Bucks County, Pennsylvania, to take a day trip to just about any beach in New Jersey. And um, it's part of our lives, but people who live further away, say in upstate New York, or in Ohio, or in Canada, um, they have to make it a trip, you know? They drive down here, and they do it, because I see all these license plates all the time. But yeah, they have to drive all the way down here and uh, get a hotel and spend a few days to make the trip worthwhile. So, um, it's quite a, quite a thing, you could say. But, um, and it's those people, I think, that need to be hit with the advertising campaigns, not the uh, people in the Philly area who already know and are already coming.
But speaking of advertising campaigns for states, we here in this area have been suddenly hit with a lot of ads for Michigan of all places. They're trying to get people to come down and uh, ooh, state fair. Nice. Yeah, they're trying to get people to come down and um, you know enjoy enjoy Michigan, which um, you know they got a bad rap, but they have you know all those great lakes and. A lot of nice places, and the Henry Ford Museum in Detroit, I was there once, is really, really awesome, and it's definitely worth the trip, just for itself. Like, you could spend a whole day in there, it's really neat. Like, I'm not even that much of a car person, really, and like, you know, I'm not even that much into, like, old machinery. Like, it doesn't interest me that much. Yet, I was, like, completely enraptured by this place. It was just, like, really cool. So, I, I'm expecting a check from the Michigan Bureau of Tourism because I just, uh, I just totally plugged an attraction in their state. So, check please, Michigan. I'm waiting. Oh, right. And, uh... It seems appropriate to be talking about Midwestern states while we uh, zone in all these um, huge tracts of uh, farmland. <laughs> yeah, um, I had a few theories for how the city would go, and one of them was there would be no need for um, no need for anything bigger than a road. And so far that seems to be true. Although I do have the strong suspicion that after um, we link up the city with other cities, people might try to cut through and then we might have to make highways on the um, fringes, which is all right. But for internal use, I don't think that we are going to need to make any highways. And that is the theory we are running with here. And look at our farms, they're all coming in. Very happy with how um, that's coming. And we're more than halfway done, people. I'm pretty excited for us because we are cool cats. Oh man. So, I have a bit of an interesting story streaming related story um well I'm not talking about the story I'm going to tell on the stream <clears throat> speaking of which uh, Sunday night if this video is not already uploaded by then Sunday night 8pm eastern time will be Bone Canoe Sun Plant story time about how I became a trucker trying to become a trucker rather but we're not talking about that now what I'm talking about is a story from the long ago days of last night when I was streaming some something on my Twitch channel as I have been known to do and suddenly our viewer count jumps up from about 10 or so of our regular stream goers and hanger-ons to well over a hundred and we fear it's some sort of spam attack. And uh, we start banning people, pulling out the ban hammer. But then we find out they are not, um, they are not uh, spammers or people. They are simply people that were sent over by a guy called um, spoon. Like, I am the spoon with two O's in place of, uh, or two zeros in place of the O's. And apparently, this popular streamer who had, um, you know, 
10 times the subscribers that I do, and probably many, many more times that in Twitch following, it was like, I'm done playing this game for the night, and I'm done, but I'm going to link you to a channel, more or less randomly, that, um, that is also playing the game that I am playing, and that's how they got there, and when we found that out, which was pretty immediately, because they told us, huh, we started to feel really guilty about bringing out the band hammer on these poor innocent people who were just trying to, uh, just trying to enjoy a, you know, a stream and that they were linked to by, by that guy. But it was okay because our stream numbers remained high the rest of the evening, not that high, but, you know, higher than normal, and we got some new viewers, so I already sent Spoon a, um, a, uh, a thank you message in the, um, in the chat, or not in the chat, what am I saying, in the, uh, the YouTube private message system, and I guess this is a bit of a public shout out, not that someone with his amount of viewers needs it from someone with my amount of viewers, but regardless, there you go, Spoon, here is my public thank you and also apology for for, you know, ban hammering people in the stream last night. Yes, and it's buried here in a SimCity episode. But that's okay, because SimCity's awesome. Alright, so... Good thing these are cheap. We're getting there. We're gonna keep plugging until we go all the way around the world. Oh man, it is pretty cool. Doo -ba -doo -ba -doo. City spread means trouble ahead. Yep, that's a message we're gonna get a lot in this city because of our low density. I did it. I did hear some people say like, "OMG, you zone medium density by accident." I haven't looked over the video, so I don't know whether it's true or not. But, I'm going to take your word for it, I'm pretty sure I did. I mean, I'm not going to go around the city looking out, looking for medium density to rip out. I mean, if one or two squares of medium density did end up in the city, I mean, so be it, I guess. There's only so much you can do. But, I'm going to try my best to make sure it doesn't happen again. Yes, I'm thinking the max population city will not be directly next to this one, because that would be kind of odd. So I'm thinking a max population city is so... going to be so big that um, you're going to have so many people that it's going to really mess with everything in the area. You know? It's going to... Uh, you know, send people everywhere, so... I want all the cities nearby to be pretty big themselves, whatever kind of cities they turn out to be. And, uh, once again, taking suggestions. Suggestions for those cities. <laughs> and speaking of videos I might be making... Uh, those of you who come to streams already know this little factoid. But I have recently purchased and have been playing a game that might surprise many people, given my history and um, things I've said before. But this game that I'm playing, I'm enjoying a lot, and... I do fully intend to make videos of this game. And uh, I'm being pretty mysterious, and it's pretty transparent, at least in my opinion, what I'm talking about, if you have any length of experience with the um, Bone Canoe channel. But, 
I'm going to be all cloak and dagger about it. I'm going to be all like, oh, oh, you would like to know that, would you? You would like to know what I play. But I'm not going to tell you. No, 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 no. That is going to remain a little secret. Yes. That is not what I tell you. Yes. You will learn. But until it is time for you to learn, you will remain in the dark. Yes, the dark and dangerous night. It falls on you like the wind of air. Yeah. I derail my own monologue. Is that great? Oh man, 